Okay, this thing just looks kind of like futuristic in a sense. It looks so nice with DM Ultra. Look at it. Oh! <laughs> yeah, this gun's gonna be nasty for long range fights. Ah! Half sway! Boy! Surprise! Oh, yeah. You know what? Hip fire. Hip fire from up close, and you're good. This motherfucker don't miss. Woo! <laughs> what? Diamond! Oh, shut up! One of the best hip fires in the game, bro. Surprise, motherfucker. How you doing, sir? Are you fucking kidding me? Let's go, guys. Five kills so far. Big boy. Oh, I just outgunned it as Val. That's why he's the goat. I love this gun. Easy. Easy. Would you still care to talk to me? So, well, what's up, guys? It's Ray here by Nino or Quadra G, and welcome back to another video of Call of Duty Cold War Warzone. And yes, people, as you guys all know, we have a new DLC weapon in Call of Duty Warzone Season 3, the Carve 2 Tactical Rifle, and it's absolutely freaking amazing in Warzone once you have it completely leveled up. I pretty much have it at max level, where the only attachment I'm missing is the last stock. So I pretty much have all the attachments and have used this gun immensely. As you guys can see, I have DM Ultra, which looks beautiful. And I definitely recommend this gun in Warzone. It has a place in the meta. It has a really, really fast fire rate. Faster fire rate than the M16 and the AUG. It has less damage, but I can give this gun more damage with the attachments in this video. So if you guys are excited for the most overpowered attachments and my thoughts on this Carve 2 Assault Rifle, in Call of Duty Warzone. Make sure you guys drop a like, subscribe if you're new, turn on those notifications. I upload videos like this every single day on the world of Call of Duty Warzone, Call of Duty Cold War Multiplayer, or Call of Duty Modern Warfare Multiplayer. I upload tips, tricks, news, updates, entertaining gameplay for all of you guys to enjoy as you go about your day. So if all this sounds interesting to you guys, make sure you guys do subscribe as around 83% of people that watch my videos aren't even subscribed. I just want to make sure you guys are kept up to date with everything in the world of Call of Duty Warzone, especially when you get closer to our goal of 100,000 subscribers. Thank you guys for the absolutely amazing support on today's Carve 2 Assault Rifle video from Cold War because you guys have been absolutely killing it. So thank you for being here. I hope this Warzone video treats you guys well. I'm excited to give you guys uh, this, this, bit, this setup because uh, this gun is absolutely amazing. So thank you for being here. In addition, if you guys want to follow me over on my TikTok, it's at the Mark RV Hero for more content. So before we get over to the class setup, let me show you guys how this gun looks like with all of its camo. So you guys already seen DM Ultra. Let me show you Diamond. Here's how Diamond looks like. It's an absolute beauty in Diamond. And I think on the Warzone graphics, it looks even better. So uh, yeah, let's go to Gold. And here's good old Gold. It looks really shiny here in, in the Warzone graphics. Let me know what you guys like. Gold, Diamond, or DM Ultra here on the freaking gun. And as a bonus, I'm sure you guys see the L camels. Here's how the red one looks like for Atlanta phase. And here's how the gun looks like in uh, the Toronto Ultra camel. So I just think this gun overall looks really great. And without further ado, let's get on to the most overpowered attachments for the Carve 2. So for our first attachment, this is going to be a given. Agency Silencer gives you sound suppression, vertical recoil control, bullet velocity, and effective damage range. Sound suppression so you stay off the minimap every time you shoot. Vertical recoil control so this gun has even less recoil. It already has no recoil, but having even less recoil makes this gun a complete laser beam across range. And then bullet velocity and effective damage range allows this gun to melt even faster at all ranges. This gun is going to be extremely effective up close and at medium range because of its super fast fire rate and you want to be able to boost its uh, damage range a little bit so it has more lethality, which is amazing. For our second attachment, we have the barrel of the 23.6 inch match grade barrel, and it gives us extra damage. Yes, this barrel gives you flat out damage. And the one thing that's lacking in this tactical rifle for me is its damage. It has a very, very low damage when compared to other tactical rifles. Like it does less damage than the M16 and the AUG, but when you have this match grade, uh, pretty, pretty much damage, you have more damage than those guns, or at least close to those damages, and you're able to melt people extremely fast, especially up close and at longer ranges. And since I like to get in people's faces, I want that much damage as possible, and I don't really need that extra bullet velocity or effective damage range because I just want to be able to melt people fast by hitting them in the head. Now, you can change up the barrel if you want. You can run the task force barrel for longer range kills. You can run the strike team for longer range kills. If you want to be up in people's places like me, you can run the titanium barrel, which also gives you more fire rate 
uh, you know, it's basically, you know, both of these are really good for up close engagements while it's the strike team and the task force are more useful for longer range engagements. So that's the, one of the strengths of this carve is that it works as both a close range tactical rifle and a super long range tactical rifle, uh, depending on what you put on it. So I like to get in people's faces and I want to do better overall damage and that's why I put on damage. So choose whatever you want, really. For our optic, we have the Axial Arms 3x barrel. In case we want to get a little bit more farther range kills, like medium range to long range kills, we need to be able to see our opponents. So having the Axial Arms 3x is extremely important. And especially because the iron side on this gun is kind of ugly. For our under barrel, we're going to have the Field Agent 4 grip for that horizontal recoil control and vertical recoil control. Now, this gun is already super easy to control. So by putting that extra recoil control on this gun, you're able to pretty much body people from far away with a lot more ease. So make sure you have the Field Agent 4 grip on your gun. And for our last attachment, we have the ammunition, the 45 round drum mag. This gun comes with a default of 30 rounds, so that's not really enough to really body a good amount of opponents. So I just like having the five extra bursts with the 45 round drum mag in case I get into a situation where I'm up against like two or more people. So you want to have this on for that reason and you don't lose that much ADS speed. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the most overpowered tactical rifle setup for the Carve 2. Now, like I said, this gun is, is like a hybrid. You can pretty much run it in multiple different ways. You can even take out the optic and put on a laser like the Ember Sighting Point or the SFF Target Designator or even the, the SWAT 5MW laser sight to increase its hip fire accuracy. Because this gun has actually really, really good hip fire accuracy. Like you guys might have seen in the intro clips, but the, the little like hitbox, it's extremely, extremely small. So hip firing when close to people is gonna be the way to go. If you're some distance away, make sure to aim in. But if you're up close, you can have a faster time to kill than some of the other SMGs in this game just by hip firing. So that's my biggest tip for using this gun. And I'm hoping that you guys try out this class setup because this gun is an absolute beast with uh, this class setup. So if you guys end up using this class setup and it ends up working well for you guys, make sure you guys drop a like, subscribe if you're new, turn on those notifications, and comment down in the comment section below how many kills and how many wins you end up getting with this Carve 2 tactical rifle. Hearing about your results always makes me aware if my class setups are working for you guys or not. And if you guys want to be my future Warzone videos, make sure you guys comment down any Warzone gun. It can be a Black Ops gun, a Modern Warfare gun. And if I see your comment and I decide to make a video based on the gun that you mentioned on your comment, then your comment can be put onto that video for the whole world to see, thus putting you on my channel. So yeah, just thank you guys for the love and support every single freaking day. The Carve 2 is an extremely, extremely powerful gun. And do I believe that it's meta? To an extent, yes, because its versatility is really strong, but I still feel like even with the damage roll that I give it, it's not crazy, crazy overpowered. You have to be in the right positioning at the right time to really take advantage of its super, super fast lethality. If you're a god at getting headshots, then yeah, this gun will be super freaking melty. But if you're not the best at getting headshots, then this gun isn't really all meta-ish. It has a, a slower time to kill than some of the other guns, but if you're accurate and you aim for the head, use this gun effectively. Cool. That's my review on the Carve 2. It's a really, really amazing gun. Definitely level it up and see if it's worth your vibe. But if not, oh well. I got a really great gameplay for you guys, to, you guys uh, to see. I do some great damage with the Carve 2, and you guys can see how amazing it is in Warzone. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys for staying here. Uh, follow me over on Twitch, at the Mark Over Hero, for more content. You know, to see me live stream and get some gameplay on stream. And let me know your guys' thoughts about the Carve. Do you like it? Do you hate it? Do you feel like it needs a nerf, a buff? Just let me know your thoughts, and uh, keep being big ballers. Enjoy the gameplay, and I love you all. Yeah, Story Shine is looking like the vibe. Let's go. <clears throat> oh, we got the PPSH. Let's go. Doesn't seem like anybody's any over here, so. We gotta keep it going. I hear it's shooting somewhere. What's up? <laughs> Anybody else? No? Easy money. Okay, let's get this load out. I'm gonna show off this beautiful, beautiful tactical rifle. Power 2, LC10. Let's rock and roll. We got the beautiful carve out here. Somebody's right here. I guess he was in the sky. Look at this dude. Garbage. Get the fuck out of here! Oh, you poor little noob. Look how beautiful this gun is, guys, in DM Ultra. I'm telling you, hipfire machine out here, bro. Hipfire machine. Thing is amazing. All oh, the people fighting on the train. 
Get to that train to locate. Are you fucking kidding me? Get off of me. You don't get rid of the, uh, the powerful car out here, man. You just can't. This dude was actually something else, bro. That's how you handle stuff out here. We love the carve. This carve is pretty nice, guys. I'm telling y'all. Great beams. We go for our bounty. Havana? Like the BO1 map? Let me know. Nobody else is here, right? No. Nah. Might as well go for it. And we got a stop and power LC10 too, in case we need to get close quarters combat. Yep, he's definitely above. Recon's inbound. UAV entering the AO. Hello there. Yeah, that's what you get, sir. Sorry. Stay down. Goodbye. Bro, how do you know? <laughs> he's like, how did you know I was there? I just knew, bro. It's not like you had a bounty on you or anything. You know what I mean? Whatever. Wherever he's at, I'm just gonna kind of go. Let's get this bounty. Hacks? Yeah, man, I got hacks. That, that's the only thing that can explain my uh, knowledge of his uh, his presence. Whatever. Let's just get out of here. I'm really tempted to just kind of like, interfere there. Let me see if I can do something here. With my, uh, Enemy spotted. He's right here. Surprise, motherfucker. Damn. Body. Sorry, Rick. We love the carve out here. Telling you guys, this carve is a hip fire machine, bruh. Really, bro? Bye, have a great time. You're ugly. The fuck you say to me, you little shit? Ah, screw that dude, man. Okay. Sucks not having a vehicle, bro. Hold on. They're all fighting there. Is anybody there? You a little lost there, sir? Thank you for the money. Appreciate it. We just lost our bounty. That's all good. We got more bounties over here. You know how big ballers do it out here. We got seven kills. Yeah, I, I think this carve has a really good place in the, in the meadow of this game. It definitely has potential. Just because, like, I really need UAVs. And this somebody just pulled up right there. There's two people here. I'm going to pull out the stopping power on this kid. I'm fast as fuck, boy. Do it. Do it! Come on! Kill me! I'm here! Come on! Do it now! Shut up! He's above. That's what I'm talking about! We don't lose That's these he's big ballers! We don't That's lose! The ghost. That's a little double kill. Keep it going out here. Woo! You guys are seeing a video in the making out here. Use this beautiful car. Telling y'all, or not carve, carve, but carve, carve, carve. You know what I mean? It's, it's, it's weird to have two similar sounding guns now. Okay, who do we go for? Oh, we should go for this kid. Easy, easy money. Oh my God, I had a feeling there'd be a dude up there, bro. 
Whatever, bro. You know, we're doing okay. We got 10 kills so far. Doing pretty solid. That carve, man. That carve is nice. Real nice. I didn't expect the dude to be up there, though. Though, in retrospect, I probably should have, but it is what it is. Okay, we gotta not lose this. That dude wasn't bad. The dream's still alive, people. The dream's still alive. Let's go. And we got some money here, too, so. Got the carve. Let's just pick up everything again. Seems like we're pretty solid here, to be honest. Yeah, I think we should be okay here. There should be a decent amount of loot here. So I can make it like a comeback or something. But yeah, guys, after, after seeing the gameplay here of the carve, too, I can say that the carve has a really good place in the meta. Do I think it's the meta though? Not necessarily, but I, I do think it's very, very powerful. Imagine somebody's still here, bro. I wouldn't be surprised, honestly. People will be playing like straight little ballers out here. Okay, Circle's gonna be within these buildings. I should look and go to this building and hold it down. Oh, this trucker's gonna see me. Okay, we good. Okay, rock and roll. We gotta like book it, bro. Oh, he went to that building. He went to the the fire truck building, I think. Loki holding it down there would be better. Let's get inside. The only thing that sucks is we don't have that silence. I just got sniped at. Oh, it's a recon. Is this his recon? It is his recon. Oh, that trucker's gonna be in his way, too. Easy! Easy! We love the freaking gun out here, man. We love the freaking tactical rifle. He had a MP5 too. Thank you. Oh, it's all good. It's all good. Oh my god, man. He got so freaking lucky. I wish I, I shouldn't have challenged him. I didn't think he saw me and I thought I could mount on the wall, but it is what it is, you know. 12 kills with the carve too. Not a bad scoreline. 16th place. I could have definitely had way more kills. The dude that killed me had 13 kills. I think, you know, that's, that's a decent freaking gameplay. He was not a bad player. But uh, I should have been playing, playing a little bit smarter there. But uh, let me know what you guys think about the carve too in the comment section below. Whenever this video goes up, drop a like, subscribe, and you channel notifications if you guys thought this was entertaining. Follow me over on Twitch and or TikTok at the Mark of a Hero. And shout out to my boy Ghost for the raid. I love you, Ghost. I'll see you guys all later. And bye. Keep being big ballers. Amen.